Okay, it's time for another unbagging of a Goodwill Ben's haul of footage that I lost. So I lost all the footage. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you what I got in this bag and that's how we're gonna do it. The first item I got is really awesome. However, it has this big stain, but it's uh, Ralph Lauren. It's rugby Ralph Lauren. I'm not sure if that's a vintage tag or not. It has the original tag of, uh, price tag, $98, it retailed for, but I am just not sure if I'm going to be able to get that out or what it is, but I just couldn't leave it behind. Um, so it's brand new, but somehow got damaged. I don't know if it got damaged in the bins or that's why it was donated. All right, so we're just going to kind of see what I have here. Anytime I find these, these are typically by Bucilla and they are um, felt crafts. And if you find the like Wizard of Oz and stuff like that, they can be big money. Um, I have never found a door hanger like that, but I'm going to definitely, definitely pick that up. Uh, this, I have no idea why I got this. It says Abercrombie and Fitch, but it's damaged. It's like a stress ball. This here is Talbot's. It had the original tag, so I went ahead and picked that up. So, a uh, cute little, call it a wiener dog. Okay, um, these right here, little wooden figures. I have found some of these that do really, really good. They were in a previous video, I do believe. Um, but this one is not branded, so I'll have to try to use Google Lens to find that. I always pick up these magnets and can just put them in, in lots. They come in, there's many, many different brands. All right, I can't remember what's in here. This has been sitting in my garage. I've been garage sailing, so I have been putting off uh, doing my Ben's video. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a brand. I I think I recall looking it up. These are Z-Y-L-O-W-A-R-E and they say Stetson. So when you list glasses, if they have a prescription, you just do four frames only and these frames look great. So what people do is they pop out the lenses and they will put in their own. It's got the case with it. So I had a pair of Ralph Lauren um, glasses that I sold that somebody had given me at the bins. They're like, you want these? And I took them and I sold them. I think I sold those on Poshmark. I'll try to remember to pop up a screen share of that sale. These are stickers. Um, I've told you guys before, I pick up any stickers that I find. I lot them up. Some of them have enough value to list individually. Those, that's incomplete. So I'll probably lot it with something else. I can't remember what this is to, but it might be Imaginex. I remember I have sold this as a complete set it's like a figure and i think it has something else on it but yeah imagine x the eye on the side that's how you know i don't know if i can sell that as a replacement or not a little lego car any legos i pick up um i don't know if i'll try to just lot that up with some legos or try to sell it individually because it's kind of a good looking car there this guy he is i don't know what he is 2016 vtg I will definitely have to Google lens him, but you guys know me, I love small toys and some of them can surprise you. This is uh, brass and any of the brass um, stocking hangers, I've done really well with the reindeer, but they're super, super heavy. So um, this one is not branded or anything like that. So I'll just put Noel brass stocking hanger. That's kind of heavy, so. Um, I got a whole bunch of these and they're kind of yucky. Um, I'll have to see if I can get those cleaned up. <laughs> they're like little squishy things. A whole, whole bunch. So they're Ninja Turtles and various things. Here is another Lego car. So put that with the other one. Okay, I have one of these currently listed in the box. 
and I have a video on my reseller testing Volo products of how it works. You actually um, blow into this hole and it turns the light on and off. And I believe this is by Mr. Christmas. Yeah, it's right here on the thing. I did plug it in at the Goodwill to make sure that it works and it did work. So I will price that a little for a little less because I did not have the original, um, the original packaging. All right, I can't remember what else in here. Let's see, oh, okay. So this is, um, let me get this bag open with my croc. <laughs> All right, I picked this up because I think they're stylus. Is that what they're called? I don't know if these are Nintendo brand, but they had these little Nintendo DS cases and this Pokemon case. There's no, there's nothing in them, but I feel like um, somebody might still want these to put their games in. So I'll probably lock those up and sell them that way. Maybe the Pokemon separate. We'll have to see how it goes. Lisa Frank stickers. The lowercase is newer. So these are, um, they're not vintage, but, uh, and they're partially used. So again, it's just something I pick up all stickers. This little thing here is um, brain tools. I think it's like a fidget but it's new in the packaging. So anything new in the packages, packaging, of course. This is, I just thought it was cute. It's a little plush, um, it's got the little bells. I don't know, it might not be worth anything, but it's cute. A deck of cards, a uh, bridge size, plastic coating, Gibson. I don't know, new old stock cards. These are curlers and um, I pulled these out of a, uh, I can't remember what it is. I'll try to pop it up because I know that um, I saved it in my phone so that I would know. They're hot, hot rollers, rollers, and they're like flocked. I believe they're vintage. So we'll get those listed. This is a Fisher Price um, slide. I, I don't know if that's Loving Family or not. It's vintage 1994, so I'll have to... Google lens that, but I'm guessing it's probably Loving Family. This is probably an Imaginex thing. I always pick up the little small things from the bottom of the bin. And like this guy, is he from uh, Mario? I'm not really sure. This is from Daniel Tiger. And I think I've, yep, got some of the figures in here. So I'll have to decide if I'm gonna part it out or sell it as a lot she's loving family i do believe mattel i think she's she's loving family i think i'll be popping up screen shares of how i have everything listed all right the next thing we have is um football guys and these are all auburn auburn tigers and it's a little uh play set I looked up comps there, but I couldn't find the exact team, but I figured it looks like it's all there. So it's from 2002. Caskey Kids. I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. And then we've got all kinds of stuff. This is a, uh, is this a vintage hacky sack? Oriental Trading Company. I don't know. It's just a, it's probably a bad pickup. I don't know. Here's more of those squishy things. So my plan was to just lot these in a lot, but we'll see if I can get them cleaned up because there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> They're kind of gross. This guy, uh, I don't know, is he Nintendo or Pokemon? Yeah, he's a Pokemon figure. I always pick up little people and I lot them up, but really I just hoard them. I have a huge container in my basement and I just keep buying them and then just putting them in that container this must go to that train so it goes with that i think this guy um is this a funko let's see it says marvel vinyl sugar 2015 not familiar with that so i'll have to use google lens and do a research on that here is um Jurassic World. It's some sort of remote. Um, I do sell these. What I'll do is I'll put batteries in it, make sure that the red light comes on and sell that as a replacement. Here's another dollhouse figure. This one is Plan Toys. Never heard of that. Look it up. This guy is kind of cool. It says 
Regal, oh, I can't read what it says. Is that quality? Something. Um, it's an old piggy bank, and I just thought it was kind of cute. So, have to do some research on that. It might be nothing. Little people. This is another Daniel Tiger. I can't remember. This is, is this Playmobil, maybe? Have to use Google Lens on that. It's 2005. A little flocked mouse. Not in the greatest condition, but he is flocked. It says Disney. This little guy, I have no idea who he is. This says 2006 Mattel, so it's a uh, Barbie. Moose Toys. This is Imaginex. They have, they're pretty distinct, the Ma Imaginex. They have the same shape feet, all of them. I don't know who these little wrestlers are, but there was a whole bunch of them. They need washed up. But I did go ahead and grab those. I have sold things like this before in the past. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I think there's two. Here's the other one. There might have been three. Let's see. Uh, this here is another Imaginex toy. Okay, my phone just got so hot that it gave me like a temperature warning and I had to go inside and I put my hand in the fridge for to cool it down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the other one. So we've got two of those. I showed one of those earlier. Uh, this is a Mickey Mouse uh, car. I think it goes with a play set. I'll have to look that up. Here's some another Imagine X guy. And then Fisher Price Little People. I have no idea why I have that in my bag. Don't know who this guy is, but he says jazz wares. So Google Lens will probably find him. He has a pan on his head. Angry Bird, don't know. Uh, that one says Nintendo. So some of these little figures, sometimes they can surprise you. So hoping I've got something good. SML, I forget what that is. Another little wrestler. This is, uh, is that from Aladdin? We've got um, this right here. I think that's from uh, Pikachu or like, or what's that called? Pokemon maybe? Or maybe not. But the pen is broke. But I may be able to bend that back. And I do always grab these little weapons. Some of them are easier to identify than others. But um, I may just end up lotting them in a huge lot. But they are Imaginex. So I could just put Imaginex green weapon. Not really sure there. This is a, um, a Beans. This is uh, from, oh, what's, he's a pirate. I can't remember what he's from. But yeah, just lots and lots. Oh, another squishy guy. I don't know who this guy's from. Disney Pixar. So lots of Google Lens is going to be happening, but I just can't pass up these little, little toys. These are squishy too. Yuck. Is some sort of weapon. A lot of the little weapons are probably Imaginex. I don't know what this is a replacement weapon, but it's a fist. Don't know. And in this bag, it looks like I spent $29.82. I bet it may have had another bag of stuff with it. I don't know. Um, this goes to something. Again, just replacement parts. These are some type of shooter. Looks like Batman. This um, is Connects brand. So that might be, is that Angry Birds? Mario. Lots of little figures here. We've got uh, this guy. Another shooter. Another squishy. Lots and lots of squishies. This is a miscellaneous Lego part. Again, I always pick up the Legos. And I just have like a huge lot. Sometimes I bundle them on uh, Poshmark. And sometimes I do like the non-branded Legos also. Just and call them building blocks. And then there's this one. I don't know what that goes to either. It's kind of interesting. But that is it in this bag. So we are definitely going to be able to make some money. Um, so stay tuned.